Greetings, everybody. You uh, join me again with the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop here. Um, I had said before uh, in the review video I did for this that um, I was going to show a uh, hack uh, with the fan on this because I was having some um, heating problems or problems with heat in the case, rather. So what I decided to do is I was going to um, bust this out, see how well this went, and kind of uh, go from there. So I guess the first step, as always, is going to be taking, you know, the, the case apart. Now, this isn't, this is an interesting case design. And when I say interesting, I mean, it's kind of cheap. Um, well, here, I guess it would help if I flipped it over correctly, wouldn't it? So we'll just flip it over that way. And, uh, so it's just, it's not, it's not necessarily a thumb screw in the back, but I mean, it's close enough to a thumb screw. It's a big old, uh, what is that? It's, it's mostly a flathead, but you could use a Phillips in there if you wanted to. Um, now, the only thing I don't like... Oh, first thing. Actually, I did that backwards. If you... Uh, <laughs> before you do this, first thing you need to do is address this. So every... And, and a lot of people don't know this. Almost every one of your optical drives is going to have a manual eject on it. Um, you know, oh, I can't get my disc out. The, the power's out or something. Not a big deal. All you really need is just a uh, like a, like a toothpick or uh, not a toothpick. I'm sorry, a, a paper clip. You just jam it in there, and that'll lift right up just like that. See that? That's a manual eject. Almost every optical drive has that. Look for that little hole. Even your game consoles uh, have that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this little guy off here first, because you can't do anything else. I'll explain later. So you just kind of give it a little pull. It just comes off just like that. And that can go click back down in there. So now we can actually come over here and undo this this thumb screw over here. It'll all make sense. There's an order to this. And like I said, this is kind of a pain to get off. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, there we go. So there's our innards of the HP Pavilion. Uh, gaming PC. Uh, as you will see, as you can see in there rather, this fan, it's, um, I mean, it's pretty pitiful. Uh, that's why you get a lot of heat problems. Um, and see, you kind of see how they have everything kind of jammed in here. Um, it's a rather unique power supply. It doesn't take up the full width of the case, as you can see. Um, there's a lot of proprietary stuff in here. Um, it's actually kind of annoying uh, a lot of the time. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to this fan situation. So the tools that you'll need, uh, really simple, Phillips, flathead, one or the other. I, I just like to use a flathead, especially for these screws, um, because they're mostly flathead. Otherwise, that's a uh, kind of a weirder star bit that you got to kind of deal with. So and I just grab a, a general use flathead. And the first thing you're going to want to do in order to get any room in here to get this fan out, you're going to want to deal with this. Um, this is a whole assembly. This is where your optical drive sits. This is where your hard drive is mounted. Um, and things like that. So, and since the optical drive is here, well, here I'll show you. First thing, first, first thing I'll do is just take these screws out. Um, I did a little bit of pre work before I started this video, just to kind of make your and my life a little bit easier. Um, so, what I like to do is, if I know that I'm going to be using screws, I like to kind of put them over near me, so that way I don't lose them, or even little. Dixie paper cups are really handy for that kind of thing. And thankfully, the, oh, these screws come out pretty easily when you're not a complete clunk like I am. And yeah, and then and you'll also get to see the um, this uh, the RX 580 in here. Um, now, when I first looked in here, I didn't believe 100% that it was an RX 580. Um, because, well, to be perfectly frank, it looked a little chintzy. So, but what I did was I took the fan off of this and I checked the chip. It is an AMD, so, it, you know, nothing to worry about that. So this whole assembly, um, like I said, the best thing to deal with, uh, it's actually going to slide backwards. And since your optical drive is here, as you go to slide it backwards, unless that thing, that little, this little cover plate is off, it's going to go boink and fly out and probably break. 
So you don't want to do that. So slide forward. Uh, you'll see it's got uh, a couple little slots here. This is your pivot, and this is kind of your guide rail groove jig thing. So you're just going to want to lift this straight up. There you go. And see how it's pivoted there, and then your little guy goes in there, and then it slides back. Um, so, And there is a little bit of tension on one of these wires. It's going to be this one. So what I like to do, just kind of give myself a little bit more room, is undo that, and then this just will lift right out of there like that. So what I like to do is kind of rotate it like there, so it's out of my way. So this fan, I'm going to see if I can't zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Now, you, you, you see how weird this is, right? How the fan is mounted kind of like on a cocked angle from the heat sink. Because you got these two screws right here, right, which obviously make a line, but this is off center of that. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but yeah. So this fan doesn't really do a very good job of cooling. So I I, I found a replacement for it, um, and I'll I will show you how we got there. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the remaining screws in this fan. Like I said, I I kind of <laughs> I can't resist the, the, the chance to say this. I kind of de-screwed the uh, fan just a little bit, um, just to kind of give us a little bit more, a little bit more of a head start on this. I mean, it's not like it's hard, but you know, it's hey, any 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 chance you can get to uh, to you know minimize your work, work smarter, not harder. That is the motto, after all. So those screws are loose, okay, and that's just going to come off like that. And the, whoops, I guess I could pick that screw up. I'll pick it up here in a minute. Um, this fan is <laughs> this makes me laugh really hard, HP, because what you've done is you've mounted this fan in here face down so nobody could see what kind of fan it was. Uh, so it's a HK fan, it's a brushless fan. I've never heard of HK fan before. Um, it sounds to me like uh, some, you know. Chinese knockoff or something so but anyway we're gonna we're gonna bend that uh, because it doesn't work very well so we are just left with the heat sink here now I, I I had a spare AMD Wraith cooler just sitting around doing nothing and I thought to myself I'm like well you know it's an AMD chip why shouldn't I be able to mount this in here well, there's a problem with that. And the problem is, is that the AMD mounting spots are different than this. So it seems to me what, what they've done is to be completely proprietary is they've put an Intel patterned thing in here and then jiggered it. it it's weird. So essentially you're stuck with this heat sink. Um, unless somebody else knows a better way to mount the AMD heat sink for the Wraith cooler in this Sunflower motherboard, Please let me know in the comments below. I would be greatly appreciative. But this is the hack I found out, uh, or I stumbled upon, rather. So I was looking at it, and this heat sink, it kind of looks like a sunflower, you know. But if you take a look at the Wraith heat sink, I mean, you know, there's not a lot of difference there. I mean, it's basically, I consider it close enough for government work. You know what I mean? It's roughly the same pattern and everything. But again, you know, the bolts, they really don't line up, so you can't really use this heat sink. However, one thing I did notice that you can use, this is really actually kind of cool, is that these mounting points on this Wraith cooler, these screws right here that come pre-installed in the cooler itself, will, in fact, line up and are mountable where that old fan was. So it's really a matter of where you want to get it, you know, and how you want to run your uh, your um, cable for said fan, which the header is over here. So your best bet there is probably going to be... Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, the AMD on the Wraith cooler has got to be, you know, facing a certain direction or whatever, but, you know, it's not necessary. I think that's going to work for our purposes. So... Let's go ahead and do this. I will go ahead and get this screwed in and uh, be right back. Okay, so I got that new guy uh, uh, screwed in there. It's not going anywhere at all. Um, and I don't know about you, but I would say that that is definitely an improvement. I mean, that looks a lot better and, uh, in fact, does give us a lot cooler temperatures uh, in our machine here instead of that 
dinky little joke of a fan. So all that's left for us to do is just plug in our fan header, and I decided to orient it this way, so that way, you know, it was, uh, um, uh, it, it was more aesthetically pleasing, is basically what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and get that little pin, that little header on there. It's always hard to do. Uh, see, and this is where you get to watch me be an absolute clunk, because sometimes I'm just not that coordinated. Bingo! And there's our fan header plugged in. So now what we can do is rotate this back into place. Go ahead and plug in our, our uh, extra tight cable. Actually, here, we'll go ahead and uh, get this guy seated. Oh, actually, it needs to go like that. Yes. That's perfect. Yes, okay. So that plugs back into there like that. And then our little pin guys here go in these little slots back there like so. Let me get my eye in here like that. And then these just clump like that. And I'll slide right back in there. And you just reverse the process. You know, put all your screws back on and, you know, put your your uh, optical drive cover back on and um yeah so that's the uh the amd wraith cooler fan hack for the hp pavilion gaming computer um it does work there's not any compatibility problems that i've noticed um like i said if anything uh, it works absolutely fine you know the fan header being there it doesn't or the yeah the fan header wire rather doesn't be doesn't cause any kind of interference or anything like that and like i said that heat sink right there is close enough to that wraith heat sink that uh it should eliminate any um any heat problems that you might have. So uh, thank you for joining me on this kind of different video where we're tearing apart some hardware. Um, I, I definitely appreciate you checking this out. This is the first time I've ever done something like this before. Kind of kind of get out. That's why I said it's kind of a hack. So since you can't really uh, change out that um, heat sink because of its proprietary design. So yeah, and like I said, I'm going to stick with this. Uh, Quite a while. She's been doing a lot of work. I'm really proud of the work that she's done. Uh, not necessarily the audio, but that's not her fault. That's a microphone hardware problem. So, But I do hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, come back and um, we'll have another hardware review for you.